Hi, I'm Andy Thorne. I'm one of the directors and I'd like to show you today one of our latest innovations, which is the CTEX colour system. We've been involved in quality control systems for over 20 years now and we've brought to the market the CTEX fabric inspection and relaxing machines and we now have more than 800 installations worldwide. We've been talking and thinking about this colour measurement for many years. And we knew two things. One was that fabric varied from end to end and side to side in colour terms. And we also knew it was a bit of a challenge because fabric has a texture and various colour depths. Our customers were frustrated about the number of shaded garments that they were producing. And we thought if we could give them colour measurement before production, then they could better plan their production to avoid the shaded garments. Well, let me show you what we've done. Here is our relaxing machine fitted with the colour system and it became very apparent very early on that fabric shade varied end to end and side to side. Okay, we have three sensors, one position to the left, one to the middle and one to the right of the fabric, covering the fabric width, and as the fabric is passing underneath those sensors, we're also covering end to end. We have a fourth sensor which sits off the side of the machine, which is used as our master calibrator, and we can set the system up to measure any color by putting a fabric swatch underneath that sensor as a target. That target can be either the fabric swatch from your master swatch from the, from the lab, it can be the first piece of fabric off of any roll, or we can key in the colour coordinates into the software. Once that coordinate's in, we then can reuse it time and time again. It takes 40 readings every second, and so therefore we get a very good coverage of the fabric surface, and we found that the system was unique, so therefore we have a worldwide patent. Okay. Once the rolls have been processed, we can use the offline CTEX DAM program to analyse the information from batches as a whole. And if I display the batch by shade screen, we can see the rolls here are segregated into their shade groupings. Once I've done that, I can bring up individual shade maps by roll. So this is the best roll in the group, and this is the worst roll in the group. We use a traffic light system for um, determining whether a roll is shaded or not because if it's green it means there's no shading if it's amber it means there's some caution to be uh, or commercial decision to be made by the supervisor and if it's red it means it's clearly shaded within the roll as we can see from the worst roll we start off uh, we had a red portion down one end so visually immediately we can see this roll is shaded end to end if we were to take a swatch for this roll, we would have historically taken it from the end and we would have not had a representative swatch for the whole roll. And this is what we normally find is that rolls are different in the middle than they are in the ends. Now, if you take swatches to cover those areas, you're destroying the fabric, you're cutting fabric out, cost money, etc. But we see it all as we're, we're relaxing inspection fabric. There is no time overhead in actually doing this because it's part of the normal process of inspecting fabric. So as you can see from the roll map, we have a, a way of knowing what the whole roll is like, not just the colour swatch taken from one end or the other. And it's better and it's more representative of the whole roll. This means that the management can make better use of the information from our system and to plan production around shaded left to right or end to end. The tolerance levels for our traffic light system are completely under the control of the user, so you can set those levels wherever you want. We can also set the tolerance levels and the delta E equation that's used, so commercial decisions can be made. What you can see now is the full picture. You can see inside the rolls, you can see inside multiple rolls, and you can make those decisions and plan better. In setting tolerance levels, we can choose a full range of light sources, TL84, D65, Cool White, incandescent etc and we offer a range of delta E equation. Once you've determined those you can then set your own tolerance levels to suit your production requirements.